was there anything going on with you in your prefer- personal or professional life that shaped the origins of this script? Yes. Um, first of all, uh, you know, without getting into too much detail, um, there was a there is a, a character like like Zach's character in in my life, and that person was basically due to inherit uh, a family business, and the entire concept of inheritance and family business was fascinating to me. Um, and also mental illness and mm-hmm. the, the, the challenges of, the, of this person's commitment to their illness and, and their resistance to therapy and change and sort of saying, like, what, what are they resisting? Mm-hmm. Are they aware of it? You know, because it's, the highs are so high. Mm-hmm. And the other thing that happened is, is that at that point, I, I, we were talking earlier, I went to an all-boys school, and um, I had a lot of camaraderie with a couple of my friends. We were not, you know, football uh, kind of friends or anything mm-hmm. like that. But we, we, I, I they had disappeared mm-hmm. from my life, and I kept after thinking, you got married. After I got married, and it took right. a little bit of while because I thought everybody was going to get married, and they did. A lot of them still weren't married even at mm-hmm. that point. And um, I got married pretty young um, for for that time anyway. That that varies from generation to generation. But uh, and I just sort of was like, what was that? Was that was that real? I mean, these are people who I shared everything with, and then I became acutely aware of the way that the media, entertainment in particular, sort of fetishized this male friendship mm-hmm. and friendship in general, and the 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 falseness that went with it, and the kind of wish fulfillment that was being presented. And I said, I think that it actually is something very substantial, um, and I would like to know: were we holding each other back? Were we just a phase in each other's lives? Mm-hmm. And what was holding us together at all? Because that person knew me, a very, very clear me. You know, It's a first wife in some way, right. you know? I like the idea of playing with the persona. I mean, I wrote this for, for Owen. Mm-hmm. Uh, of playing with the pers- Owen Wilson's persona as a sort of you know glib, a snarky, easygoing stoner. Uh, that's his persona. And saying like, well, well, how is that person like that? And you always see these two guys going on a trip together. And why are they friends? And what is the substance of it? And are they even aware of how important this is in their life? And the it's kind of anesthetization, like you know, that that you would see Zach and Owen start off in bromance. Or this word didn't exist at the time, right. but um, uh, and and basically kind of structurally have have the 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 bottom pulled out of it tonally and say, wait a minute, this guy's a drug problem Mm -hmm. and this guy's mentally ill. And a lot of us have someone like this in our life. Um, And you do say, you know, as, as um, Amy Poehler's character said, are you, are you hiding in charity? Are you, um, are you existing this way because there's someone who's worse off than you? Can you live very, very, you know, irresponsibly because, this is a virtue in your life that he is taking care of that guy. And then you say, well, there's real love in it. And they, they're someone who knows you. And what is the compromise of both of these people becoming adults, of living on medication and sobriety and facing whatever the responsibilities are of actually being in the moment and dealing with real feelings, which is, to me, like, you know, that's a, that's a very upbeat answer to a very bleak question. I mean, a lot of the, the thematic nature that has to do with our div- our inability to feel being accentuated by being divorced from nature. Mm-hmm. Um, that is came from my kids. That was the thing that my six year old. You know, I would w- watch the Weather Channel when I was getting dressed in the morning, and he would walk out on the balcony and say, "It's going to rain." I'm like, "How do you know that?" And he goes, "Smell it." And I was <laughs> like, "I I I don't really." And hundred percent accuracy. <laughs> and you're like, "Well, what did I lose?" It's like when you realize. I mean, some of it. Probably is biology. You can't hold all that information, right. but you know, people who live on farms are aware of it. And um, and the other thing is, that, uh, uh, you know, I read this amazing book called "A Language Older Than Words." Uh, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not, you know, but uh, the guy's thesis is basically that our uh, ability to allow. I mean, every society has someone who kills the animals, mm-hmm. but our ability to be so divorced from the process of having our food is our ability to be cruel to each other. So I was very interested in like writing a story where that the, where the the main character had a a moment of clarity when because he had to kill his own dinner. Mm-hmm. And I think you watch the movie 
and it may be tonally difficult for people, but I don't know. You don't think he's going to do it, and I think you are in his shoes, and it's the first honest thing that guy ever did in his life. You said that you had written this specifically, the Steve Dallas part for Owen Wilson. At what point do you show him the script? At what point does that kind of come together? It was a very interesting thing because I had told people I was interested in him. Meeting Owen was an incoming phone call wow. from his agent saying he was a big fan of the show. And I knew Bogdanovich, who's a very close friend of Owen's. Uh, I knew Peter from, uh, from Sopranos, and he had always been support. I wrote the episode that he directed there, actually. Right. And he had always been really supportive of my work and loved the show. And, he said, and so the agent said, Owen wants to meet you. So we went to dinner. And it was one of these things because I'd really like to do something together. And I was like, it's funny you should <laughs> funny. say that. Here. Because <laughs> I wrote, yeah, I wrote this script for you eight years ago and I've never been able to get it to you. Did you actually bring it with you to no, the dinner? Okay, no, not no. that tactic. But I did make a it was joke. In the car. I said, okay. I know we're supposed to become friends and everything, but I got, you know, I do, I did, I actually wrote something for you. And he was like, okay, well, let me read it. And then the yes came in, honestly, within like 10 days. I think another actor pointed out Zach to you. Is that correct? Yeah, John Hamm. John Hamm told me about Zach. Zach was not on anybody's radar when I wrote the script. Um, I had always, besides Owen, obviously, I'd always had this fantasy casting of of, of Chevy Chase and John Belushi, <laughs> and um, and uh, so I met Zach, and uh, you know, he's just like the warmest, uh, most interesting person. And then his career took off, and we're like, well, do you really want to do this? Do you have time to do it? And I think that. Uh, the goodwill of the show and my passion for it and the fact that I wouldn't leave them alone, um, you know, made it happen. I think that what, what audiences do take away from this and what, what I hope they take away from it may be two different things. Okay. But I do think that when entertainment is successful in any way, you feel less alone and that they perhaps value their relationships um, and, and try and, like, take stock of them and that they that at some point in the next 24, 36 hours or even months from now, that something in this movie hits them as as being true. Mm -hmm. And that 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 to me, that's what I want from entertainment. I don't care what it is. I want to feel less alone. I want to see that someone has a piece of the experience that I'm having. And, you know, the, the sentence that I started the, the, the film with is, is, you know, is this concept of friendship and that it shouldn't be trivialized or thrown away or treated like you know that's the 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 the, the it's not the second string of, of relationships it, it it is it is a very very unusual and special thing very well said matthew weiner thank you so much for coming thank in you thank you everybody <laughs>